Hi guys, it's your girl Fee and I'm back at you with another video. Before I even get started, I'd like to say a big thank you to the returning subscribers and a big thank you to the new subscribers. You guys mean so, so much to me and I'm so glad that you're here hanging out with me today. So here's the deal. My setup's a little bit different today. Reason being that it's a Saturday and the boys went out for ice hockey, Cameron has ice hockey practice today. And I was sitting in the house and I was kind of bored and I was like, hmm, what should I do? Um, so I was looking up online about like different Dutch dishes and I came up with this dish called a stamp pot. I've never heard of it before. I've never tasted it before, but it just so happened that I had all the ingredients at the house and I was like, let me make a Dutch stamp pot. Now, I don't know what the history of the dish is because I haven't really had a chance to like read that far into it. So I don't know what the history of the dish is. I don't know if the dish is had at a particular time of the year. Um, so guys, please feel free to um, let me know in the comment sections, comment section, what is the history of this dish? Do you um, eat it at a particular time in the Netherlands? Like I really honestly just don't know, but it sounded amazing. And I was like, let me make it with you guys. And you guys can tell me what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, I wanna show you guys what I have as far as ingredients for the dish. So I have potatoes. The recipe I used called for Idaho potatoes. So I have five large Idaho potatoes. Then I have some butter, salt and pepper. Then um, the recipe called for rookwurst sausage. However, I'm not gonna be using that. I'll be using chorizo sausage. And then I have some onions. I have white onions, green onions, garlic. Um, I saved some water. I already boiled the potatoes earlier, guys. And I saved some water from the boiled uh, potatoes. I don't know if you guys use this trick to make your potatoes a little creamier. I have some milk, olive oil, I have some kale as well. All right, guys, so let's get started. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the potatoes that I already made into the pot. And then I have my butter here, so we'll throw in the butter as well. Get that going. And then we'll throw in the salt and pepper too. And then I have my heat on high, so we'll let that start to kinda do its thing. And I'll also add the milk. So I have my potatoes, salt and pepper, as well as butter and milk cooking in this pot. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the kale. I have some olive oil in there. So we're gonna throw in onions. Mmm, I love the smell of onions. Who else loves onions when you're cooking? They make the house smell so good. Garlic. Okay, stir it up. These are looking good. And then guys, I'm slowly gonna add the saved water from when I was boiling the potatoes just to make them a little more creamier, a little bit at a time. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. 
the dish is done and it smells so good but I want to show you guys what it looks like I try to make it all pretty so this is what it looks like in here and now I'm gonna do a taste test now of course I don't know what it's supposed to taste like but still I'll let you guys know if it's good so I'm gonna get a scoop and try and get everything in there oh it smells so good Mm. Oh my god. It's so good, guys. It tastes so good. It's so hearty. I can see how you can have this in the winter because it's so warm. It's amazing. But now, the chew test. I'm going to have Randy and Cameron taste it. So I'm going to call them over so they can let me know what they think. All right, guys. So Randy is going to taste it. So here's the moment of truth. All right, it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. Okay. Throw <laughs> a little bit of everything mm -hmm. in there. Make sure to get everything in there. Mm. Tastes good? Very good. Does it remind you of anything? Winter? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, now Cam's going to taste it. Cam, tell us what you think. You like it? Mm -hmm. Guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with me in this totally different video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's any dishes, any Dutch dishes that you guys want me to try and make, let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to give it a shot. Anyways, guys, until next time, bye.